Just yesterday, 7th of August 2024, Alberta Advantage Immigration Program announced that it is coming up with a new UI system of application for all the streams and the details would be available by 30th of September 2024. In fact, 30th of September 2024 is the launch of the new UI system. So I'm expecting that the details should be available few days or few weeks before that. Here in our channel, I'll, I'll continue to keep a watch on that and I'll try and educate you as soon as the details come out. With any new announcement here also, there are there were a lot of questions. I just prepared a video on the new system and what are the details of the new system, whatever is available right now, of course. And I got some response or I, uh, rather I should say some questions from some of my community members were, they were asking me things like, how fair is this particular system, right? Now again, fair, unfair, not at all fair is a very subjective decision, right? But his question got me thinking that how fair is this particular system? Will this system make a candidate's life easy or even tougher? So I just wanted to make my opinion video on this particular subject. Again, this is purely my opinion and not based on any data available as on when I'm recording this video on the 8th of August. Again, here goes nothing. Let me try and build an argument and I hope you guys join along and agree or disagree with my opinion. In my opinion, if I were to judge a system to be most fair or least fair, I would consider the attributes on the left hand side on the left most column that you see here i would i would attribute this particular section as those criteria that would let me judge the system to be fair or unfair let's start off with something that i would perceive as most fair for me the most fair system would be a system where all the eligible candidates are allowed to apply once they apply all of their applications are accepted and then a decision is taken on all of the accepted applications. Okay, that would be the more fair system, most fair system. And I would think most of us who are listening would agree to that particular argument. Now, let's go into something that I would consider as fair system, one step below the most fair category, but just but still a fair system. It would be something where still all the candidates who have applied who are eligible would be able to apply but not all of them are accepted only a section of the of those who applied got gets accepted just like a college application uh, scenario and then but once all the applications are accepted they are decided upon whether it's approved or rejected but all of the applications are given time and effort for a decision then would come something that I would consider the least fair system or the most undesirable system would be where out of the eligible people only a few or some of them are able to apply and then once they have applied only a few of those applications are accepted and then again once accepted they are they are processed they are decided upon that's okay but still in this particular scenario I would say the 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 loss of fairness begins right at the application stage. So let's extend this argument or let's extend my argument for that matter and ask the question that whether the June 3rd system, the, the system where Alberta Advantage Immigration Program came up with a system where it had limited dates and limited numbers of applications to be accepted throughout the year of 2024 was that system fall in the least fair category right because based on the candidates experience even though the candidates were eligible to apply not everybody was able to apply and then once people get into the, got into the application queue started filling up the applications not all the applications were then subsequently accepted and then once accepted yes i agree that the processing is still open can we categorize the, the system that was introduced on June 3rd, which lived a very short life, I would say, in this particular category. Let's continue the discussion and we will come to a conclusion later in the video. Next, what is the new system that Alberta Advantage Immigration Program has just announced? 
which the details would be available on September 30, 2024. Is that the most fair system? I would say it has a potential of satisfying my criteria for a fair system because it will allow everybody who is eligible to apply to apply through a EOI process and then Alberta would process those applications and issue a NOI which means it will kind of accept some of those applications out of a pool and then once accepted it will obviously decide whether approve or reject. So I think September 30, 2024 ticks all the boxes in my criteria for a fair system. Next comes to the question of most fair system. Were we ever here where there was any time in Alberta Advantage Immigration Program where every candidate was able to apply, all the applications were accepted and then all the accepted applications were decided upon. I would say yes, we were there in 2022-2023. Even I would say 2021 when the new streams were being announced, we were there in that particular, in this particular sweet spot where all the candidates, so no matter if you are eligible for AOS or for Rural Renewal Scheme or for the newly launched Alberta Tech Pathway, no matter which stream you were eligible for, you were able to make that application. So that was one of the most fairer times in Alberta Advantage Immigration Program in recent history since the time I started following them. So yes, we were there. So it's not that we were never there. This was this is a utopian kind of a scenario. No, I in my opinion, we were there in last couple of years. Does the September 30, 2024 looks like a fair system? I would say totally it has the potential, but it will all depend on the details. As people say, devil lies in the detail so we will have to wait for more details to come out and only then we can say whether the system is a fair system obviously it will not be the most fair system because it will restrict certain applications select people from a particular pool of applications so there is a potential of some applications getting rejected. So it still has a potential for a fair system in my opinion. Which brings me to my last conclusion that yes, the system that was introduced in June and will die a quick death on September 30th, 2024. It did sound like a least fair system. I would not say unfair system but it was still a least fair system purely based on candidates experience like you must have seen in my live streams and some of the videos that i have prepared and go ahead and look into the aip's uh, to twitter feed you will see the kind of response and the kind of challenges people were facing just to make an application right and this is just a pnp application that they are trying to make so based purely based on their experience yes the system did did sound least fair now let me come to september 30th 2024 i will quickly conclude this particular video with a quick list of some questions that are in my mind right now and i would highly recommend you to add to those questions just put your questions on the comments and we will we will get to it in the meantime these are my questions that i have in mind so there are few more details that needs to come out which will make or break this particular change worthwhile the first question that comes to my mind is that does this new process only changes the application process or does it change the eligibility for the individual streams and the documentation requirements for individual stream some people ask me that okay so under this new stream whether the employer de declaration is still required or whether we do we need to have uh, pro provide more documentation under this new particular regime the answer is we don't know yet so these details we will look out for in the days and weeks to come next what does the new candidate ranking looks like so if you look into the declaration the official declaration you would see that there is a section where it says that the selection from the pool will be based on a candidate ranking system what will this new candidate ranking system looks like will the federal crs or the if or for people who are already in the express entry pool does the crs in any ways contribute to the new candidate ranking and whether and whether the candidate ranking will be across category or for each category so say they come up with a candidate ranking score between 1 and 100 right and 
and people and people who will submit an ui will be assigned a score and those and that score can range between 1 and 100 so say there is a candidate who applied in aos and got a score of 50 and then there is a person who got who applied under tech pathway and got got a score of 55 and then there is a person who applied for rural renewal scheme and got a score of 60 right so once they do a draw would it be if and if that draw is based on ranking of the score then will the person who applied under rrs is having more chances to get selected versus people who applied under aos or under tech pathway let's see we will need to we will need to know those kind of details and those details will come out in the days and weeks to come in the declaration that came out there is a section which says that labor market needs are also a criteria for selection of candidates from the joint pool so what would labor market needs mean when we combine labor market needs with the earlier candidate ranking system would that mean that whether the draw that would happen would be a noc and a score based draw or whether it will be a occupation plus the category means aos rrs plus the score based draw so how this requirement of labor market need will be addressed this would be very interesting to look at in the details to come and then some questions like will there be a limit to eoi can one candidate submit multiple eois if they are eligible for two streams say for example i am eligible for both aos and tech pathway can i submit two eois we will have to see what what the details would come out and then will it really make the overall processing faster so we will have to judge this particular new scheme in terms of its fairness and in terms of its processing so it should not result that bringing by bringing in a more fair system where they would address or accept applications from all the candidates the processing time goes up to two years right that would be counterproductive we will have more questions as we go so if you guys want to contribute to the list of these questions feel free to add your questions and i will try and address those questions in my next video so i hope you got some value out of this discussion again purely my opinion i just wanted to give you my peace of mind by just reading the details that were just out there and i hope you guys derive some value out of it and uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one